word and following this uh, very special uh, coverage of uh, this press briefing. Today, I assemble all of you here uh, to bring a discussion surrounding development in our country, what is about infrastructure, governance, and all other national issues. We are happy that the Minister of State has again unveiled itself to the media and uh, he will be talking to you on a lot more of a uh, different national issue. At the tail end of his uh, introduction with you, uh, the media community here will have the opportunity uh, to ask some very key national issues on the uh, trending national issues in our country. So I'm pleased to again welcome Minister Nathaniel Fallo Miguel to the press and uh, Mr. Miguel, the media. Thank you. General, welcome again. It's always a privilege to interact with the media even during difficult times. Uh, we, we have to engage. Uh, you know, the last time you guys were here, we had a very good conversation. Uh, as a Minister of State, uh, I always see it as an opportunity and a privilege to speak to you, Mr. Report, so that you can be able to ask some questions, issues of national concern, issues that you may have on your mind, things that you've been hearing. And so today is one of those days that we, I thought uh, to have this. I, I read an answer in your press briefing. I always say the conversation of the press with the Minister of State so we can talk on a wide range of issues and some of the issues that have been affected. But before I start again, I want to uh, use this opportunity to, I know it's been very tough, we've lost some great friends. Uh, some of the guys who we lost were very close friends. So, uh, Nipa, Martin Mishwa, knows most common. These are these are people that I knew personally. So uh, it's a tough time. The country is going through uh, it's a tough time, but we gotta keep praying as a country, we gotta keep praying. And so I just thought to make sure that I pay my respect uh, to the fallen hero uh, before we begin this conversation. Uh, the last time you came and we brief you or we inform the public that uh, there were a series of initiatives that the president has undertaken as a government. And I thought that they gave you some updates on these uh, different issues. Uh, issues ranging from uh, some of the immediate projects that the president has undertaken. I know you want to hear more updates, for instance, on uh, the president. Uh, electrification program that is going for the Christians, which includes uh, the purchase of uh, transformers. As you know, uh, one of the major things right now in the city is everybody crying for electricity. The president sees electricity uh, as a very important component of our macroeconomic development. So the president has instructed, or did instruct the, the Minister of Finance to make $2 million development uh, so that we can solve problems affecting 86 communities. They could be more, and they cannot be less, but they could be more because over time, more communities have high electricity problems. Uh, two days ago, I think two or three days ago, I had a meeting with the LEC managing director to find out to give me an update on the procurement process of the transformer. I'm informed by the 20th of November, uh, the first 26 transformer, which is uh, 10 pieces of 50 kVA and, and 16 pieces of 250 kVA will be arriving. That's the 26 community. So the first week, hopefully, uh, before the end of the month, 26 major communities will be affected. I've instructed my my staff to work closely with uh, 
uh, LEC uh, by the president instructions to make sure that 26 communities, uh, the first 26 communities will be uh, making a list of the communities so we can we can establish the key area. When I spoke to LEC, LEC said to me, even though we have 26 communities, but some of the communities are very, very large, meaning we need more than two, three transformers in some of the communities. So we are taking those into consideration. So we just want to inform the public that uh, the transformer issue is not a joke. We are coming out there and making sure as LEC bring this transformer, we'll make sure we inform you. Additional 56 pieces of transformer should be arriving on December the 10th, according to the schedule. And these things are subject to adjustment because they're shipping a lot. They gave you some dates, and you find out that they ship the date. Right now, I was talking to some of the shippers that we're expecting a ship in today. I'm just told the ship is being delayed for three days. So these things can happen. I want to show the public that uh, uh, the transformer is coming. We're expecting, from the 26th, we're expecting an additional 56. So that is about um, uh, 82 pieces of transformer before Christmas. So we have five pieces of 50 kVA and 51 pieces of 250 kVA. So 250 kVA, according to LAC, can, can get you about 250 homes. So that is 51 pieces. So if you're multiplying 250 homes, you can multiply that by, 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 by 51. So you know the number of homes that will, be that will, that will benefit. And you can also multiply it by maybe by 10 to see the number of persons uh, that will benefit from. It depends, it also depends on the number of usage of the electricity. Some people are only using uh, their lights. So if you're using light, that means you can get you can even get more more pressings on the on the transformer. So I just thought to get a transformer issue. On the issue of the street lights, uh, which has become a very important project of the president. As you see, most of the major streets in Morovia now, part of our construction arrangement is to make sure that we ask the the contractors or the project design to include street lights. So the reason why we're doing separate street lights is not part of the project because from ELVA to Broad Street, from Broad Street to uh, to Singapore Bridge, those are old streets we are doing repairs. So we, 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 we the government took the responsibility to make sure to provide a street light before Christmas. Morovia, like I said, the president believes Morovia is too dark. Uh, we got to change power down, making Maria appear like a capital city. So Maria can look at other countries when you go there and you can you can see the difference that our capital city is that way where actually other capital cities you see you see life. You know it's the electricity is life. You see life. So we want to change that we want to bring life back to our city. So the president making sure that project is on course. Uh, we do expect uh, 200, 1,500 electric poles to arrive on the 20th of this month. Uh, the shipment is coming from Morocco. We expect it to arrive. Uh, as you see the streets, you can see the level of work that's been done. So the pedestal have been have been deployed along the along the road. Uh, it is our hope before the 20th. Uh, we can get a petty stuff to Broad Street, and as soon as the, the, the poles arrive, work will begin, and you'll see massive uh, installation of poles. Uh, I know the president himself is very is willing for that. Maybe he'll be, he'll be engaged. I want to thank the military too for uh, for engaging the the, 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 the cyber project. Uh, more Liberian like Nancy, the kind of work that military can do. Some of the best sour uh, programs uh, in the country. I want to commend them for the measure of being involved uh, in, in doing more projects now. Another issue they I know you do want to ask with the RIA road that saw the president there, uh, I think two or three days ago, four days ago, the president was there. That project has begun. Uh, the acting means of public work is currently working on that project, I'm told. If you went there now, you will see uh, people are building the campsite. Uh, 
where we had a major construction work with, with them, so we generated from it. So that project is on course. Uh, the road to the road, what they call bridge to bridge, I mean, which is the usual island, you see a lot of repair work that's been done on our road. Too much money was used, and every now and then we had uh, we had to repay because if you don't do the work correctly, you will have to continually pay money to do our job. And so that work is ongoing. So we are very grateful to the work that's been done by public work. Uh, most of these things, like I said from my beginning, we we'll we'll always pay tribute to the late minister with the vision to make sure that most of these projects started. So when we when we when we are talking about this project and we we we, we are sometimes saddened by what is going on and the loss of the minister. So the, the road to Sikram, uh, Sikram means uh, our, our family people in, in the southeast, uh, meaning from Nimba to from Ganta to Saklipir, from Saklipir to Tapita, from Tapita to Zredo. Uh, currently, the rap payment has started rap means people who have property along the road. Uh, the first initial payment of rap was one million five hundred and that payment started people in Ganta receiving that pay. So on the second of December the president is gonna break ground. So the road can start. Not just breaking ground but it's the road will begin the first week of December. The construction of the road from Ganta to the first pay is from Ganta to Sacre uh, which is about thirty nine point five kilometer. The second phase the procurement project is ongoing under the World Bank program. That project should begin next February according to the World Bank Home Program. So the president is very focused in making sure that the road is built. Uh, like I said in the last meeting, the president believes that uh, if he doesn't achieve anything, one of the single most important things he wants to achieve is to make sure that our president is connected to the road. That would be a success story for the president. And so we're not going to give up on that. The president is very focused on making sure you deliver on your promises. The RA road will be fixed. And the, each of the market construction dwellers, uh, the, the, the housing units, will be, uh, the president in Nimba is going to bring down for additional housing unit in Guam and in Nimba. So there are so many other issues I may have left some out, but these are the most important things I wanted to talk about. Uh, then we can take questions uh, from the press regarding general happenings in the country. I know some of the friends have been asking me to uh, be seeking some clarification from me. But uh, I wanted to first give an update on some of our last conversation. And then we can begin to briefly interact and uh, in the our public. So thank you for coming. Okay. So the, again, we want to say thanks to the minister for laying out in his briefing note exactly what uh, he's brought forth to the public through your favorite platform like we've always done it will be a very good opportunity to have some interaction with the minister he's willing to take your questions and so we we'll ask you to um, put up your hands once you're recognized you call the name of the institution and then you can put forth your question to the to the minister of state so um, we are hoping that you should be kidding me from that point. So that uh, if you are here and you want to raise a point, we just allow you uh, so that you can be on camera or from the position you are, you just raise your voice, we'll recognize you and then you can go ahead. So let me start with Julius uh, Compton. Thank you. I'm Julius Compton from Cotton Television. Uh, for yeah, Cotton my, my question is related to the recent dedication of and that program promised to build children's playground. Well, you know, you know, I'm working along with Michael Ime at uh, at the point or in in, uh, okay. in Maguire. Yeah, I'm working along with uh, you know these things don't happen overnight. First day you have to identify the line. Uh, my wife is but she's going to run that program. Uh, so she's working on the programs in the pipeline. Uh, when we can get a lab delivery. Uh, 
we're still going to go ahead. So we are, we are, we are, it's a working in progress. So things are happening. Uh, because our brother, there's no way for children to play. So we want to find a way for uh, children in the community to find somewhere to play. I was asking the, the guy who in the, the, the space that we were born here. He said, well, no. But we're still trying to find a little bit here. So Kwame? Yeah. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Honorable Miguel. Uh, I'm Kwame Opa Weeks uh, from the Liberia News Agency. Uh, you open your your statement by saying that uh, Nyen Soa, Nyen Pan, all of these people that die are very, very close friends of yours. Uh, and you said these are tough times. You pay your respect and refer to them as fallen heroes seeing your face, the passion and all of that, uh, but that does not uh, balance with what's been on social media. You've been accused by someone, someone claiming to be part of the relatives of killing these people and so much stuff that have been going on. Earlier, Honorable Fagon stated that this, uh, this government has been accused on so many killings and these people are walking around. You care to, to, to lay these uh, almost the rest. Well, you know, sometimes <clears throat> you ask yourself what are you need to respond to some of these things. But because our society is gullible, and so because they're being that the family suffers, so you see it as a responsibility to say something. Okay, we don't say anything, we just believe anything. Correct. You know, a lot of people don't know. Before Mabuto became Minister of Public Work, Mabuto had a very good relationship with, with, the, with, the, with the President, with our friends and brothers. Mabuto and I were very close. Cool. The reality is, for people to know today, in the government, I have two close friends friends in the cabinet, two close cabinet friends that are interacting with most of the time. And one of those are Mabudu. A lot of people know you saw Mabudu doing inspection, Mabudu always sent for me. Mabudu never one day called me by my name. He always said to me, Chama. He never called me to me He always said Chama. You know, I feel very hurt, not for myself, but for the parents of the minister. Because when people know the truth, and people come and say, your child was killed, you know the pain and agony in the family is going through. I know people say, my guy, your minister, people say anything for you, you don't have to say something. You know? We do the Sabu men, a better man. We don't know better and Sabu put their duty. And that's what we see from the block. So people get to say, my gay, how would kill somebody who are very close to? My buddy will come to my house. And people talk about the meeting. And maybe I need to explain what led to the meeting. Because all sorts of explanation. Firstly, I'm a minister of state. I know that people. My job is to make sure that every cabinet member does it. His or her job. Now I don't compromise it. Even if my friend is not doing a job, you know what they're first. I don't compromise that. Everybody knows that. Because at the end of the day, my job is to make sure that when you have a piece of job to do, you do it to the best of your intelligence. All my friends who come around me know that. But I cherish my friendship. One thing I don't compromise is friendship. Because money can never buy friendship. So I feel hurt. And I know the people. People are looking in my face. I know some of the people who are beyond this malicious propaganda. They're not doing it to me. He's trying, he think he's trying to destroy me. But you're hurting the poor woman. My good mother, my mother is saying. Poor people. And you want to lie that somebody killed someone when you know the story and not true. In the first place, we've always had meetings and popular works. Not the first time. Always have meetings. When we have meetings, 
He was sent for food for four days. On this faithful day of this meeting, the minister has informed me that he had a problem with getting certain things done. He wanted my intervention to get the minister of finance and the PPCD. And then you can go into the PPCD director and the PPCD director to make sure that we solve some of the problems that he was confronted with. Let me give you one example. People say there were, were heated arguments in the meeting. Yeah, there were heated arguments in the meeting. But what was the heated argument all about? The heated argument was about a contract to do the road to 14 military hospital. The road to 14 military hospital. I don't like to explain about how to explain it in the political public. You, understand? Right. you can go to the PPC director and ask her. The minister has had requested a no objection to a contract for that road. And the major problem was the current road, the current road that we're doing here, the current road, the least you pay for the current road is only between 600,000 US dollars to 850,000 US dollars. Feeder road. And the minister said to me, Minister McGill, uh, 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 Chairman, said, Chairman, that the, the road too expensive. So we got to find a most cheaper way of doing the road. He brought a new technology. You can go there and go see it, but he brought a new technology. And that technology, the president myself, who said, look, my man, we think they want to make more sense. Instead of spending 600000 or 800000 you can spend 300000 to do one kilometer. 300000 Wow. So, the difference between 300 and 600 or 850,000, almost 500,000, yeah. you can save at least 500,000. So he made a request. Over six months, there was a problem. When I called the PBC director, the PBC director said, they're not me. My problem is that public works. Public work procurement people having issues. So we decided to call the, the group to have a meeting. We went to the meeting. We sent for the PBC director. My brother was not talking. The Minister of Finance, and the PPC director, they wanted to have, they wanted to have an understanding, and I was angry, and I said to the PPC director, if you say public work request for a no objection is too high, then cancel the no objection, and ask public where to do a new procurement process. But mind you, the only people that will do that road, the new cost of the road now will be around eight hundred thousand, because you have to choose either taking three hundred fifty thousand or doing eight hundred thousand road. So which one cheaper? The, the one my budu are requesting for or the new one you want to ask for? So we all concluded that meeting that 350000 was the cheapest thing to do so it was the best contract because beside that company, no other company in Labra will get you roll for 350000 now. 350000 now. So when people call me in the office and I was angry, I was upset because the minister wanted their job done and the job had been delayed because of people not understanding that. 350,000 now, a cheaper, the one that new procurement process. We say, okay, but you do new procurement process, the only one company in Labra can, can do that job. The other company in South Africa, right now, will get COVID. You will not do the job. So, we had a conversation. When the conversation was getting talked, Mabudu called me and they said, let's walk in the conference room. Walk in the conference room. I can tell you one thing. Every day we made Mabudu. Mabudu was the only man in the cabinet. Even Mabudu bed, you will not know he bed. So I always say you're a politician. Because you always had a way of coming people down. So there was no issue, my brother. We would have wanted to have a man. Like we always do. And we solved that problem. My brother invited all the contractors, the contractor for the the, 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 the Chinese man who was doing the work to to Johnsonville. He invited him. Because the, the Johnson man was complaining that he had not got him paid. Based on the complaint, we invited the, the road form director to come in. The Rofa director came in and asked him, why have you not paid these people? And there were issues, which I can't explain all the financial right. details. There were issues. We all resolved the issues. And they brought the food. The food they brought, I did not send for the food. I did not send for the food. I don't even know where the food came from. The food brought food, I don't know where it came from. I had no idea, zero idea where the food coming from. The restaurant they get the food from, I don't know. It is now people are telling me. I don't know what is correct. I'm asking all the public work people where they took that food from. Those they took it from Paris. Is that where the food came from? Maybe we need to go ask them. Wow. Because it is unfair for people to be accusing me. I don't know. I've not been to Paris since 2014. I don't even know how Paris looking. I've not been there to eat before. 
to say, okay, my get people there, you will take telephone call and call the person, preferring the food, the post, and somebody said, I fish. What kind of nonsense is this? For responsible people to be going around, spoiling people, complete nonsense, and acting the poor family. Right. And you get big people in the government here behind this nonsense. But we know them. We know them. Some of our record are sending me some stupid tech messages. They know them, they know themselves. If they better, will talk. Because I know the people behind this thing to try to malign and be, be, be spend my character. I know the people who, who are behind it. I know them. I'm upset because this is not only about me, this is about the poor mother of the minister. So I say, okay, the medical report is available. The medical report is available. I wouldn't have responded to this thing, but I want to respond to it for, to set the record straight. No. I did not, no, I, come yeah. I did not, I did not request for food. I did not send for food. When I went to public work, I never asked for them to bring food. Yes, yeah, food are always bring food. They are always sent for food. They brought food there. I said, we were more than 25 questions in this meeting. Somebody said, we just went in the meeting, man. I said, we were more than 25 questions. All the deputy ministers are in the meeting. All the assistant ministers are in the meeting. The directors of public work are in the meeting, including some of the late minister assistants. The chief of staff in the meeting. The chief of staff in the meeting. So where the whole story coming from? That like somebody killed the person, the person called Sandai in in bitch. I don't even know. I ate some of the food. I ate some of the food. But I ate that food along with your body. Assuming that I wanted to kill somebody that your body has a good kill. Alright? Right. Right. Your body must say in the same place. He ate some of the same soup I ate. The minister was not close to me. So where the whole story coming from that they made it? The same stupid person that wrote it from he said I killed one. He can't kill one joint colleague because of someone that company. Yeah, the man, your joint colleague, uh, business friend, you're calling my whole life. No, I've been in South Africa. I said I went to South Africa. I don't even know how South Africa looking. Wow. I've never ended up South Africa in my whole life. I'm not, I've never looked, I've never even done transit at the South African airport in my whole life. Who said I went to South Africa? I want to kill, I kill somebody from there. Yeah, joint colleague from there. I joke all different. I told them what is Africa. I don't know what's Africa looking. I've never been there before. When people die in the country, they just find a way to accuse me. One man, somebody goes, look at the stupid thing, or oh, where, where a man did. Your, your other friend. Or, right. Or, or, right. That's why where my JV Bama. Where my JV Bama came to my whole few days. If every day, where my JV Bama can't eat my way. Oh, oh my, where the food is. If I can care, you can't eat my whole. You can't eat that one day. <laughs> But soon you get a woman business, you say that problem, and I mean, one kill you. They feel like he He took my last power and a half from me. But then he took the power and I run away. Uh, 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 what a man need. You didn't pack on 200 half from me. He said, my man, team, the man, team, my man, I said, why have you using the man, oh, me? So we just laugh about, hey, man, laugh. You get a woman, you say, woman business. Now, the me tend to try to kill you. Tell me, man, for God's sake, you don't lose somebody. You can't be putting your kind of thing on people, especially other family people. For heaven's sake. You know, God is there. You know, every time we are Christians, we are Christians. And me, I'm a Christian, I'm an African. I always say, if somebody press in my Buddha, my Buddha got there. If somebody really press in my Buddha, he got there. But if people lying on us, our God is also there. Because God was, man, too never had. The truth will come up. The opposition who believe there are people who believe that I'm obstacle to their success. You know the same point by story. Some people believe they can get to the president, but they think that I'm the obstacle. So the way they do it, let's get rid of my gear. So we can my land, my gear carried up, we can destroy it, we can say all kind of things. I mean that God gave me. I never pray for it. The job I get that God gave it to me. So when people get it, say you will lie on me to try to destroy me. The only God can find my battle. I mean, it's very unfair. Like, bring people out, some of them, some of them, very wicked. You can't get any money, so somebody won't kill you. When my today, when my gave you, when my, yeah, you don't want to say somebody won't kill you. You accuse people of running behind your wife. Yeah, you and your wife get a problem, you accuse all your friends. This time people go, they go to the house, they don't eat, they are not getting food, they say that I'm going to get called a woman, now they give me food. That's real thing. When we get you food to eat, I'm going to call the woman and say, I'm going to give you food to eat. When you go to your heart, when your wife meet you, in a different way, you say, I'm going to tell the woman to meet me. So everything I'm going to give 
You know, my name has become so sweet that people are going around using my dear name. I can understand. At least lie on me for different things, but don't lie on me that I can kill people. Because I never kill a fly in my life. When people are killing people for free in this country, for free, doing the war, I never kill somebody. So even fire gun, I don't know how to fire a pistol. I don't even know how to use it. Before I say somebody, my parents know me. I don't, I, I don't even authorize people to go kill chicken. Somebody would not believe it, but I'm a man, I'm everybody. Chicken, I'm my whole family. When you're killing chicken, I tell you, say, don't bring it near me. Take it from me. I don't want to see the chicken be, chicken being killed. Then you'll say that me want to kill him on me. My history is very clear. I've never, you know her, my gay have insulted people. A chairman of CDC, nobody will call me and say I was engaged in anything. I always show respect. But it's sad that people will want to use my name. I don't know for what reason. But you can't use it for to help other family. To help other family. Every time when people say, I think about a man, poor mother or a poor parent, a family people, because they will believe it. You just get a very important son who's doing everything for you. And somebody says somebody took your life. You think you will, that person will be your enemy for life. Let's say for God's sake, if somebody didn't let my book go. Or the president or somebody. You gotta tell the man life or then tell the job from the man. You can just get out in the morning and say, man, I'm minister. Yeah, Langley, that Langley was deputy minister. Yeah, Langley, Langley stay my friend. But you just go out in the morning and tell the man Langley is you. You're not deputy minister, you give him a public one. Yeah, and Langley lady. Then what for the man who would know? The man who that we know. The man that we know will what they left. Just for waiting for public wear job. For heaven's sake, man. Are you people talking crap for public wage job? What is the job that you take somebody life for? And people want to believe all oh, the mental, but all the people that are like, somebody can't put in. Let's party in this one. Party in this one. We've been friends from 1997. Friends from 1997. They went over. Went to Universal Library, the first group of students that entered Universal Library under Dr. Patrick Ellen Sale, a member of that class, the Caribbean, 1995. And we got in 2000, a voting class. They're like brothers, being the job you know. The so called people talking about the report. And let me tell you, the report was authorized for Biden to go do that, or it was authorized by the president. I wrote Biden the letter. Go in there and find out what happened. Then the man will bring a report. The man will send a report to me and people say, they, we ought to, the man was so submissive, hard working for the government. The man was discovering all sorts of goods in on payroll. What you want to kill the man for? The man will help your government? And you boasting on the man's job? Every time the president gets the man money, the man go and deliver, and the president can boast that we are reduced goods in on the health ministry payroll? And who established that pattern in this one? That the man you will go okay? They see no working for you. Maybe that's why the people doing the opposition. Maybe most of the people in the opposition, most of their leaders are former killers. Most of their leaders are former killers. So they believe the only thing they can do is the same tactic they were doing that what other people are doing. Because then they're used to killing people. So anything you want to do that you yourself got to kill people. But we don't have to kill anybody because we never kill people. Neither the president, the president not involved in war business. But some of the people are involved in war. So now I say, say, my gay get former general then, to help. But former general, I was general before. All of them today will be on there. Will be on there. Go out there. All the security get out there. I ever fought war before. The people say I control in general. The general control by you people, you're getting instructions. You're bought arm for them. They brought in here to kill people. And you want to believe poor people who have no reason to be blamed. It's sad, gentlemen. And you're the press, you gotta, you gotta be asking questions because it's someone the press book, they're very vulnerable. Because they write anything for getting. I'm aware of people giving press book, sending information to the press book, they say, ready, they put ready, against me. Some people refuse already. Some people refuse. And one of the men, some of the people refuse. And sometimes I, I interact with some of the people. 
Why are you letting somebody else try to destroy somebody and rest through it? Oh, loud, my guess, my guess, kill somebody and you read it. You're not even thinking about your friend while you're writing again. And you know that. The medical report there. The medical report. So let's show some respect to the young man. And bury <coughs> them with dignity and pride. And start asking all these, and start making all these stories. Every time I think about it, I feel very hurt because it is about somebody's son. It let's is about take, somebody's son. Let's take another question from Abraham Well. Yeah. So I'm Ibrahim Weir from Truth FM. Uh, Honor Miguel, though you spoke about the developmental issue, but there's a deep part that I captured from your response to this question. It becomes so scary when you are saying this allegation has been leveled against you in relation to Mahmoud's death. You said they are big hands in government. This means it is not the opposition that beyond it. It's both the opposition, you know, be right, it's both the opposition and some people in the government who are now liaising with the opposition to try to damage my reputation. I'm aware of some of the people, but the fight will be told later on. They are the opposition people. The opposition people, they don't want to carry the story, but people in the government telling me. There are people in the government, I have sufficient evidence to, to show that people, because people in the press are coming, that so many people are calling them to my Lama corridor. I will not call their name now, but we are doing more investigation, we are establishing the name later on. And they are telling people in the opposition are singing so way. And the unfortunate thing is that majority of our friends in the opposition, their only trick was to harm people. Some of them are where they live, that were in prominence. Some of them would never did it before. You know, some of them okay, never did it before. There are so many on the issue of the projects we talk about. I have specific interest in the issue of university, which of course we stress on. And then I uh, talking about do we have time frame set to some of these things that we can charge the government about that you said that you, within this period this will be done and yeah, not done yeah, 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 yeah. I mean like, for instance the street like the obviously the street like a time frame. Okay. The okay, let me let me get with the transformer. So the same transformer arriving by the two there. Hopefully. Hopefully the twenty twenty six transformer arriving. Then additional fifty six will arrive on the tenth of December. By the present instruction. By the present instruction, the first one is that as soon as they arrive, we are hoping that um, they'll be able to clear within two or three days. Uh, immediately, the, the project can start. So, LEC tells me they can do uh, at least 12 transformers per day, correct? Or uh, per week? 12 transformers per week. We're trying to increase that because LEC get our own logistical uh, problem. So, we, we, we're trying to see if we can borrow some equipment from Abidjan to be able to increase the amount of transformer that will be deployed uh, during the week. So we think that it's too small, 12 transformer a week that is too small, but the same, some of the community, they got to go do assessment. It's logical.